obviously Bo and Beth had plans for a different venue. They had plans for many other people in their life that are very, very important to them. And because of circumstances, they had to make some very, very tough decisions as to who was here and who wasn't here. You know, this is out of the norm, right? So we're three quarters of a mile off the nearest road, out in the middle of the woods, and I'm sure when most of you heard about this idea to start with, you're thinking, what? But here we are, and oh my God, you know, Mother Nature just blesses us with a beautiful day. It couldn't be better. 75 degrees and sunny, May 1st. Seriously, northern Wisconsin, it don't get any better. This is what their wedding should have been. You know, Bo and Beth are simple. And I don't mean that in any negative way, but, but the reality is they like simple things. And it's, it's nature. And they aren't people that like to be front and center, surrounded by th hundreds of people. This is them. And I just think that this was kind of destiny. So I'm grateful for you all being here. Bo and I were in our ice shanty as we are many, many, many times. And I clearly recall Bo and I being on the ice and he was just glued to his frickin' phone. Just texting, 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 texting. And I was a little bit pissed. Because uh, <laughs> I did not have his undivided attention. I said, who are you texting? He said, a girl. I was like, a girl? He said, yeah. I said, who is she? He said, Beth. He said, Beth who? He said, Beth Evan. And I remember Beth from playing softball. I thought, that's not his ballpark, but good luck. <laughs> I knew it had a chance because a flag went up. I said, Bo, a flag. Uh, he said, you can get it. <laughs> That's never happened. Anybody who's been on the ice with Bo, you come home with torn jackets, scratched eyes, black eyes. He doesn't let you get a flag. So I thought, this has a chance. We've had an awful lot of time together. And I can tell you, that Beth is, uh, I could not be more pleased to have you as a future daughter. Uh, if, if I could write a list of all the things I wanted in a daughter-in-law, Beth, you represent every single one. But I am confident that you guys will have a wonderful marriage. But with that said, I love you guys both. We love you as a family. We're grateful to have you part of our family. Thanks everybody for coming here and spending some time with us. Thank you. Beth, you are the love of my life. I cannot imagine a more perfect individual. Some say that love makes you whole, and I never really understood the truth in that statement until I met you. Oh, I'm not sure there's anyone else in this world who could so fully compliment me the way that you do. I can still remember the first day that I knew I was in love with you. It was the first time I was up at the cabin, and you're helping your dad put the dock in. <laughs> and I remember thinking to myself, how did I get so lucky? Since then, we've both grown so much separately, but also together. We've endured hard times, and we've thrived in the good. We've learned how to live together and what makes us tick. We've been to some of the world's most amazing places, and I can't wait to go to more. I promise to make you laugh. I take tremendous joy in witnessing your beautiful smile. And I hope that together we can learn to not take life so seriously. I promise to build a family with you. I've long marveled at your ability to love and just give yourself up completely. You are unbelievable at just giving yourself up to another person. I, I wish I had that in myself. I hope to learn that from you. You are my best friend, my protector, my handyman, my teammate. You've taught me that life doesn't always go as planned and that it's okay when it doesn't. I love that you aren't afraid to push me because you know I can be better. I promise to explore the world with you. Let us not take for granted 
what God has gifted us in this awe-inspiring planet. Let's just be outside. This is gonna be an adventure, and we're gonna fill it with many little mini adventures. I vow to love you, to grow with you, and to dream with you for the rest of our lives. I promise to support you and encourage you to always be your biggest fan. I can't wait to have babies with you because I know you're gonna be the best dad. I love you so much and I can't wait to marry you. By the powers vested in me by our almighty creator and the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you, man and wife, you may not kiss the bride.